Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to model loads on concrete slab systems in RAM Concept. In this series of videos, we will show you how to create load cases and load combinations in RAM Concept. We will show you how to model area, line, and point loads. And we will also show you how to model load patterns. In this video, we will show you how to model load patterns in RAM Concept. Pattern loadings refer to a load arrangement that ignores or reduces loading on selected spans for the purpose of maximizing moments, shears, or reactions. A load pattern creates a pattern loading that contains only filtered loads for each standard loading. The on pattern and the off pattern factors within the loadings criteria will control the filtering. So pattern loadings is RAM Concepts way of doing skip loading for your live load on your concrete slab. Now RAM Concept will allow for a maximum of 10 loading patterns, which will allow 5 loading patterns in each direction. As you can see on this slide, we have several examples of what a typical load pattern would be in one direction. The first step needed in order to start modeling your pattern loads is to navigate to the appropriate pattern load layer. From the layer menu, we will now select pattern and we will start by modeling our load pattern number one. Once in the load pattern number one plan, we can enter the particular pattern that we wish to model. Over in your layer specific toolbars, double click on the pattern load icon and enter pattern number one and then click OK. Now we're ready to start modeling our pattern loading, but for this model, it will probably be a little bit easier if we saw our grid lines on screen and grid lines have been imported for this model from our CAD drawing. To turn on any items from another layer, such as your drawing import layer, we can click on our visible objects icon, navigate to the appropriate layer, for this case drawing import, and then we'll go ahead and select this grid checkbox to turn our grid layer on. This will give us some additional snap points in order to model our pattern loading. Then we'll go ahead and click OK. You can see our load pattern icon is still selected and now we can start modeling our pattern loads. For pattern number one, I'm going to model some patterns between grid lines number one and three. So I'll draw a fence around that area. And to make it easier, I'll select my snap to intersection icon. And here I've drawn my first pattern. Next, for this particular model, I'm going to go between grid lines 4 and 5. Between grid lines 6 and 7 as well. And now we have finished modeling pattern number 1. We are now ready to model our second load pattern. Again, in our layers menu, we will go to pattern followed by pattern load pattern number two plan. Our first step is to select load pattern number two. So we'll double click on the pattern load icon and select pattern two this time and then click OK. Again, we'll also turn on our grid lines to make the modeling a little easier. For this model, we will model load pattern number two between grid lines three and four. Five and six and also seven and nine. We will then complete this process to model load patterns 3, 4, and 5, which are also running in this direction.
To complete the process of modeling our pattern loads for our sample structure, we will now model the load patterns in the opposite direction, starting with load pattern number 6. Again, we must select the appropriate load pattern and then begin modeling it. For load pattern number six, we will model this between grid lines C and E. And then also between grid lines A and B. And then we will continue with load patterns seven, eight, and nine. Once you have modeled all of your pattern loads, you can also review how the pattern loading will be applied and to which load cases through the loading criteria. In the criteria menu, we will now select loadings. And here we can see some categories for on pattern factors and off pattern factors. This is what defines which load cases will be used in the pattern loading layout. Here we can see that all of the live loading on the model has been considered to be allowed to be applied as pattern loading. And we can see that by the on pattern factor of 1.0 and the off pattern factor of 0. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.